Hello YouTube, this is my first video and I'm going to show you my IKEA lamp that I have modified for RGB mood lamp. And this is a response to a video you can see on this page. Okay, this is the experimental experimental boards. Sorry. Here is a controller. It has a peak controller on it. And transistor for the power. And it's co connected to my overkill power supply. It has 5 volts and 12 volts. Okay, so I'll turn it on. Yes. Here it is. So this one, this is just uh, shot glass that is frosted, sandblasted, if you may. Um, I could show you the source. Here it is. It has three LEDs. It's a mountain on a Vero board. That is a custom-made unit. You can see on the back. Soldered. Already done. So, to test the concept, that was made. And the peak controller was uh, programmed on this board. It's a easy pick 5 board. It's a... Um, what do you call it? development board yes and it has an onboard programmer I'm not going to show you that now I'm going to show the lamp so here it is I did in this project I didn't remove the the original source inside okay here is the lamp it comes with a dimmer it's about uh, the lamp is about two feet high as you can see, I haven't taken out what's inside the sources. Oh, forgot to put this on. Yeah, and it produces a ring. And I will show you how that works in with the RGB source. <laughs> Okay, one moment. Yes, now I'm going to show you how it looked like when I have RGB inside. Here it is. It may seem like it's blinking, but that's only in the camera. So in real life it's a very smooth. Okay, now I will show you what's inside. Oh, by the way, I forgot to show you the ring. Now you only see a blue ring, but you can see a red ring emerges. That's because the LEDs inside are unevenly unevenly spaced here's the green ring okay that's all one thing I wanted to show you here is my lamp you see the original lights and here is the RGB LEDs okay here are the RGB lamps focused and there's three LEDs one watt each are only running two at the same time and it has uh, hot plates underneath so uh, they have been um, soldered to the traces so that they can conduct heat anyway if you put your finger on it you won't feel any any pain and uh, I don't have any thermometer but if I don't feel pain they are okay Okay, here you see the wire, the lamp excludes the pole, it goes down to the controller. This is the power supply plug, and here is an 18 pin PIC 16F628 controller that has been programmed with a program I showed you. Okay, here's the transistors. 
try not to shake too much. These are 500 milliamps rated transistors. Costs only 20. What was it? 10 or 20 cents, whatever. Uh, <laughs> it's so cheap. I bought uh, like 100 of these. So uh, you don't need an expensive MOSFET to do this. Just uh, buy a very powerful bipolar. Um, okay, so uh, the project I used you will find on my page. Uh, and it also has the program, so you can download it. But if you wish to make this board and use the schematics on that page, you must pay attention because that schematic has an error. It can destroy your PIC controller's output. Or, uh, because, um, okay, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, I'll show you here. What you have to pay attention to is. Okay. Here is the schematics. We'll uh, blow it up for you. Here, you can see here, the outputs here, goes along here to the inputs to the bi bipolar transistors, transistors. They have no resistors in these schematics on the base inputs. You have to add at least 100 ohms because uh, the P controller is rated for 20 milliamps. If you don't add resistors, you will exceed this value. So I had uh, some two pick controls blown for this. So I have to replace. So after adding this and some other problems occurred before adding, sorry. Uh, so this re really needed. The problem that I see was blinking lights. Uh, the controller didn't perform very well without the resistors. So add the resistors, 100 ohms maybe 200 ohms, doesn't matter just resist the current so ok, here are the LEDs oh, by the way, this project also uh, includes um, what is it called? dip switch so you can select different programs to be run like uh, flashing colors or you can have smooth running colors uh, toggling between all the codes in the palette. <coughs> For my project, I just soldered all this to a high level so that I only run the smooth program that uh, goes through the smooth uh, colors. Okay, I hope that was informative. So go up and build. Uh, you don't have to buy all these components, you can buy kits on the net. Just see the link that I have. Uh, responding to. Okay, thank you very much for watching.